Coach, if you don't mind starting us off with a few thoughts on your team senior night victory, and then we'll open it up for questions. Yeah, first, I'm uh, just really happy and proud uh, for our seniors. You know, the great class, a great group of young men that have given a lot to this program, and uh, this will be a night I hope they'll remember a long time. It was neat that their teammates were carrying them off the field at the at the end there. And um, I thought the first half may have been the best half we played all year. The guys were really focused, played well in all all three phases, and you know answered some things in the second half. So it's a nice win. What does it say about your team that you you know lost big at Washington State last year and then were able to win big against them this year? Lost big at Oregon State last year, were able to beat them big this year. Well, we talked about it. There's a few games that. The, there were kind of redemption games for us that we, you know, as you mentioned, Washington State, Oregon State, that we, you know, we didn't just get beat, we got beat bad. And um, boy, it's, uh, that's tough to, you got to deal with that for a whole year. So, yeah, I mentioned it. I mentioned it a couple times uh, this week. And, and, you know, with that, with that being part, I think, of keeping our guys focused, but they, they, they've been focused all year. I've been, I've uh, been really pleased how they've bounced back the next, day after a game and getting ready for the next one. What do you think of the effort turned in by Nick Wilson in his final home game at Tucson? Yeah, to get 100 yards, um, somebody said it was his 14th or something in his career. He's battled injuries. He's uh, just a great young man, Been provide a lot of leadership in that, in that running back locker room. He's He's been the main leader. He and Zach Green both, and they both played well again. And uh, I'm proud. It was pretty neat to have Nick get 100 in his last, last home game. He'll remember this a long time. How satisfying is it for you guys, uh, for you specifically? Teams know you're going to run. They know that's what you're going to do, and he still can't stop you. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it starts with the big guys up front, and, you know, they're, they're a really hard-working group. I know I've mentioned it before. Our tight ends do a great job of blocking. Our, our, I think our receivers are overlooked sometimes, the way they block, and um, we, we try to do different things in the run. It's, you know, obviously it's run, but there's, there's some different things uh, with the zone read and some of the reverse stuff that you can uh, create some big plays for us. And so it's kind of uh, you don't always have to throw it, but uh, when we did, when, when Khalil made some nice passes, and then he he and you know some of the guys that ran on reverses, Tony Ellison and T.J. Johnson and those guys in the open field were pretty special. So what more can you say about Khalil? He continues to do it every every week. Yeah, he's he's a great competitor. I mean, you look out there and he's looked like he's kind of not moving in very fast. The next thing you know, he makes a cut and he takes off. And you know, he's a competitive guy. He's a competitive runner. And you know, there's some things we'll watch. You know, I don't know how he's going to grade. There's some things that watch the film tomorrow. He'll he'll want to have back and you know make a different read. But even when he makes the wrong read, he's competitive enough to make it a positive play. So he he did a good job seeing the field for the most part. Breaking the school rushing record, how do you kind of put that in back-to-back -back seasons? How do you put that into words as a coach? Who, what records? Uh, you broke the uh, school rushing record in for single games in back-to-back -back <coughs> seasons. Oh, is it? I, yeah, that's nice. Well, yeah. if, you know, especially if you ask anybody, the the big guys up front probably take the most pride in that. I'm talking, including the tight ends, the O line and tight ends. They, you know, they, and they see everything. Trust me, they, you know, as much as we're running it and. And, and all that, they're seeing every kind of front coverage and movement that you could possibly see. So they do a good job. You mentioned um, earlier this year how Tony has been faster than you thought he would be. Do you think he catches teams by surprise in, in some ways with his speed that they can't prepare for that? Well, probably with his, his yeah, with his little bit of his Jim Brownish, like getting up kind of slow, and then and, you know he's making a move he's kind of slow and then the next thing you know he's kind of fast so he's got his own little way about it but you know he's faster because he's in better shape and 20 pounds lighter than last year but uh you know he is uh he's a strong runner too you don't know what i want to mention too at this you know i'm really proud of brandon dawkins too you know brandon went in there and you know i told brandon he's a he's a player too and brandon did some did some nice stuff when he was he had his uh reps in there how nice was it to get him in the game just because he hasn't been in the game in a while? And you, you know, yeah, really and he played well. Time. He made good decisions and uh, obviously took the team down for a touchdown. And it's good to get Zach Whirling in there, too. I'm really proud of him. I, I think I heard the student section uh, cheering for him to get in there. So that 
Not that it had any influence, but that was kind of nice to see. I was glad to get him. I think he got the crap knocked out of him, too, on that last play. But um, uh, it was happy for him. Did you speak a little bit about the seniors on the O-line? Yeah, it, uh, a great group of guys. And you're talking a couple guys like Gerhard DeBeer and Christian Betcher that walked on, made themselves starters and good players. You know, Leith Freck has been a multi-year starter. Jacob Alsadek has been a uh, four-year starter, you know, a self-made player. And so they get a lot of leadership. There's not much they haven't seen throughout their careers. And, um, boy, they come to work every day. What do you guys have to do next week in Eugene to keep the win streak going and beat the, uh, beat the Ducks? Yeah, we've got to correct some of the things, uh, mistakes. They're an explosive team. Uh, I've watched a little bit of them against some of our opponents so far. I mean, they got guys that can run. And uh, it's a tough environment. They have a, a great home environment up there, so we'll have to keep our poise. And, and it's our big week. Our guys have, have stayed focused all year, so I would expect this wouldn't be any different. Will you take, go ahead. Will you take a similar approach in that game, uh, considering the last time I believe you guys played Oregon was the Pac-12 championship game? Uh, which, uh, yeah, that was so long ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a different – they're, you know, different teams. But you know it's it's going to be a tough road environment, and a lot of, for our young guys, you know Colorado was a little bit like that. But they'll they'll have to, we'll have to prepare for that. It'll be loud, it'll be intense, and I think the game's at four. That's an early game for us, so um, uh, I think our guys will be excited to play. There's a lot at stake. Every every game we play now it kind of elevates the, I guess their bowl status, so to speak. Are you surprised that the game ended before midnight? This one. You know, the first half seemed like it went fast. The second half, not so much, um, you know, because both teams were scoring, I think. But the first half, I thought, went uh, exceedingly fast, maybe one of the fastest we had. You know, again, it was – I think our guys – I think we executed pretty well. That was a good one for us. Was the plan going in to kind of limit Sean's usage because of the foot? He was banged up, yeah. He, uh, we weren't really going to play him at all. You know, he's you know our best punt returner, so we wanted him back here catching the punts. But – we were able to not have to play him a whole lot. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.